So generative AI is only going to be as good as the quality of the data that we can provide to it. And so I think that's really an important characteristic of how we need to think about it. You can deploy a generative AI solution relatively quickly and then start either chatting with your own data or integrating with your own data. Um, or you can even do something as simple as select the right kind of la large language model that you might want to use. But invariably, at the end of the day, it's all about the data. So if you can't um, embed or infuse the correct set of data that you want to be able to chat with, um, so to speak, then that's the issue. So the quality of the information is really critical. Prompt engineering is going to be one of the most important skill sets that we see emerge in the next few years. And it's really about getting the most out of your large language models. If you don't know how to speak to them, they won't know how to tell you the answer. So really think about your prompt engineering practice as a data quality practice. You want to coach your employees or your customers on the best way to interact with these models because you're ultimately building a data set for them to intake. And we all know that when it comes to machine learning, data is garbage in, garbage out. If your data set isn't great, the outcome won't be great either. So to prepare your data estate, we really need data quality at the center of that, right? So if you're not collecting the data that you need to be effective, that can really impede your progress with generative AI. Many organizations don't want to put the generative AI concept on pause. They really want to move. They want to move fast. How do we leverage the data that we have if, um, to the extent that we can? We don't want to take two years to figure out how to get our data into the highest level of quality so that we can provide the best decisions. And so that's an area where we engage as well. So let's identify what the use cases are or even assess the quality of your data so that we can help you to move into the right set of use cases where you can see productivity today. And then we'll deal with the use cases where there are situations that you might have to work on quality. You might have to create stewardship or you might need to create operational processes to govern your data. So I, I think that's kind of the next stage of where we're going today. There's a lot of excitement around just getting generative AI into the organization, starting to use it on high profile use cases. But I think ultimately it's gonna come down to the quality of the data and the information that you have. With our clients, we usually take an approach of an overall assessment of what your data estate really looks like before we start jumping in and saying what we can and can't see getting accomplished in the next one to three years, right? So we know that everyone's data estate is very rich. We know that it always has a lot of volume and a lot of great value packed into it. It's about understanding which high priority use cases are going to convert that data into something that is going to have an ROI.